Hey there everyone and welcome to a new episode of my uh, new series here of Hearts of Iron 4. I know I got one currently going on with the uh, Commonwealth. This one's going to be a little different. This time I'm going to do a super aggressive solo campaign as the Polish. We're going to uh, attempt to um, reconquer the world basically and become the... Uh, well, what was it? I think that was actually the Commonwealth in my EU4 game. So we're going to attempt to reestablish the, uh, the Commonwealth. And, uh, yeah, make Poland great again and see where we can go from there. So, yeah, we're actually going to do something really different um, and try and take over some different stuff as we go along. I will actually talk about that as we go. Uh, let's kick things off. I will cover stuff as we go. I'll keep it at speed 3 for the time being. Um, we got a long way to go day-wise, time-wise, so it's not going to really make too much difference what's going on now. So, anyway, research-wise, we've got the standard ones kicking off first. So we're going to do the machine tools, the electronics, and the construction. And then eventually we're going to work on getting up our land doctrine, our infantry support, and our artillery because we need to buff out our troops to be a at least a um, 7 or 8 infantry and 2 artillery before we really get into war because otherwise it'll be problematic if we don't. So from there, dipl diplomacy is an important trade. We need to get trade actually rolling. So we need to... We actually can't afford to really be trading yet because it's going to be one, two, three, four, five different um, factories minimum that are going to be used to basically compensate for everything that we're losing out on. So we're not going to trade yet. We'll do that in a bit and I'll get to there momentarily. So from trade we have construction, which I'm currently building a chunk of the uh, military factories first, then I'm going to be building up my... Uh, civilian factories then back to military and then we'll see where we're at I might slowly increase my my uh, civilian places as I go just so that, that way I can start using the trade because otherwise I'm hurting my own economy by doing that and I'm kind of slowing down the war construction so I kind of have to start alternating between the two in order to keep bumping up so for example I got four building then three then two so I'll also build another two and then we'll go from there when that's done. From there we have our production. I decided to go ahead and build up some artillery because we're going to need it. It's going to take a long time to build. I'm building 11 a year because I really don't have any one of the uh, materials I need. That's all being spent pretty much elsewhere. So I added a little bit here and there. I added my convoys. I really am in dire straits for some steel. So I might have to make concessions for that. If I get steel at least that'll help a few things. But I think first comes first is going to be getting these factories up and running. Then I can worry about it. So we'll, we'll just hold tight for the time being. Let it happen. It'll slowly increase. Like already, it's up to one a month. So it'll it'll get better as we go. And then we'll eventually replace all these deficiencies, and we'll be finally in the right path. Other than that, we have uh, where was I there? So we're also building our convoys to fill up. So. Recruitment, we haven't started anything. We do want to get to about 60 troops, I want to say. So that way I can have 20 up here, and then 40 down here. And I'll explain that strategy in a bit. So we'll go ahead and take care of that momentarily. And then finally, our logistics, we need to start building up our artillery. We have a whole, what, one in surplus at the moment. We're going to need a whole hell of a lot more than one. And we need to come up with a lot of uh, infantry equipment before we get going here. Now we're not going to worry about too much in the way of bombers or anything, we're just going to be basic fighter cover. I think that we're going to be completely dominated by the Germans otherwise, so that's what we're going to do. Alright, so, let's see what we have here. We have a fleet, we'll combine them all. Who do we have as a commander? Nobody! Okay, so you're going to be on convoy raiding. It would help if I clicked the right button name. So he's going to be convoy raiding there. That's pretty much all that matters. We'll go there, and there. Do those two. That way, any convoys that pop up, I can hopefully damage them. Well, you know what? Let's not do this one. Take that one away, and instead... I uh, hit the wrong button again. There we go. We'll just convoy... Convoy raid. There we go. Good. Switch to convoy raid. Alright, so he'll just convoy raid this area. So that way, if he can't, tries to land anything, we'll, or the majority of his convoys are going to come from these areas, we'll be pretty good to go. So that's going to really help when we have to fight off pretty much anybody, and including these guys. So as I was saying, with the infantry, we currently have 
that would be Navy. We currently have 40 divisions. We're going to need roughly 20 more. Oof, we're a little low on manpower, but that's still manageable. So we want to have a total of 60, so we can have 20 up here to take on each of the Baltic states, because our game plan is to be very aggressive, take on all these guys, and then go ahead and take on the Romanian front. So we're going to basically that and uh, Hungary. So there's going to be multiple options as to how we're going to do this. More or less, we definitely need to go and hit these three up here when we get the option. So, that being said, what is our focus? We are pow powering our way to the additional research slot first. And then once that's said and done, we'll go over here and do the um, revanchism. So that way we can declare war so early and be able to do what we need to do. So, slot first, then go from there. So let's go ahead and start transitioning some of these troops over. Uh, we'll take you... Four and convert you to Mountaineers. Mm -hmm. That should be fine. And we'll take you four, five, six, and convert you to infantry. Because to be honest, I really don't foresee um, the cavalry going to be all that effective down here. Mostly because, well, they're more of an occupational force than anything else. So it's not going to help out at all. So we're going to bring all these guys down here. And we want to bring just, where are we going to be here? Don't want you. We just want 20 troops. So right there, that's 20. So we'll make you guys into an army, and we'll call you the Baltic States. Because that is going to be their job. They're going to be taking care of the Baltic. Once you go along that border there... Go ahead and deploy up there. We need to give you a commander. Let's see who we have. We have a guy with man or planning. Combat with. Combat with is pretty good. Entrenchment. Uh, Panzer leader. And recon. Let's go with... Let's go with combat. Ooh. And there we go. First thing happened. Rhineland's taken over. So it's the typical German thing. Uh, let's go ahead and before we select that... We want the combat with, own combat with negative 10%. Okay, um, so we'll probably do that. Yeah, we'll do that. Unless I'm wrong with how that works. Correct me if I'm wrong, but that's beneficial, I think. Anyway, deal with it later. If I'm wrong with that, please let me know in the comments. I'll be more than happy to change him out. I always thought that, that was a good one, because I figured bad is red, green is good. Could be wrong. Okay, so this thing's good. So next we're going to go with, do I want infrastructure or do I want civilian? Well, quite honestly, civilian. So we're going to go with that next. All right, so we have our 20 heading up there. So we're going to go ahead and continue. The rest of you all, you are 20 down here. So we'll add you. We'll create a new theater out of you guys. And we'll rename you to the um, Romania. Romania plus hunger. Nah, we'll just call you Romania for now. It's kind of the game plan there. All right, and we'll stick you guys right along that border. It's gonna be a little tight, but that's to be expected. And we'll give you the max planning guy because we're gonna have to start planning around the mountains here. We don't want to attack this way. We want to come around like this for that. But we'll get to them in a minute. First things first, you need to start creating plans for these guys. Really don't need that much of a plan. I mean, it's kind of kind of obvious. We're just going to go right across the border and be done with it. Just like that. <laughs> it's it's going to be pretty simple. I mean, there's not much over there. Just steamroll right through and probably take it pretty quickly and easily. So as for these guys, they're going to be the tricky ones. So you definitely need to get you with an offensive line like this. For your first line and then your second line will bring you pretty much well that shouldn't be like that so hold tight that didn't work out how I wanted to playing with the damn battle plans is always the, the division assignment mode that's offensive line so that's good that's good now what do I do? 
That's garrison, it's useless to visual assignment. Hit this button to toggle this mode, control, select all the highlighted fronts to assign current units. Hold blah blah blah. Okay, so yeah, I still want this. Okay, so maybe we need to just draw it from the south. Yeah, there we go. I need to draw it from the south. And there we go. There we go. That's how it assigns it. Ew, that's gross. Alright, so we will edit it so that we bring it up and around. Nope, nope, nope. Now. Let's do, like, like that. Gotta play with it a little bit. Alright, we'll do that for a moment. Um, Alright, so all of our engineering is finished. We'll go ahead and... Do I want to jump to that already? Let's actually pause it and make that decision. Now we need the support equipment first. And then those should finish shortly and we can go with that. Alright, so let's go back to our edit mode here. And uh, change out the arrow, shall we? I used to know how to do this. There we go. That is how we do it. And if I'm not mistaken, I can edit it one little bit more time to change it to be like that. There we go. Can I drop the arrow down more to here? There we go. Yeah, there we go. That's more like it. That's that's exactly what we want. Okay, so there we have both battle plans drawn up. We actually have more military factories available. Um, man, we're hurting for stuff. We might as well keep going with our infantry equipment. Oh wow, Ethiopia has already ended. Or the uh, war for Ethiopia. That was quick. We are in historical fo uh, focus, and we also are not on um, Iron Man mode. Typically, I'll play my single player games in Iron Man mode. But we don't have that option this time around because, well, quite honestly, I want to be able to save whenever I want. So, that's kind of a big thing right there. Alright, who are we going to hit first? Probably up in the north first. So we're going to go ahead and assign us some air divisions. Never mind. Huh. Let's take you, reassign you here. And then you guys can do air cover there. And then when we go in here, we just simply tell we want air cover. And there we go. Baltic States should be taken care of. Well, let's actually bring over my other air grouping, shall we? So I believe they're here. Ooh, I actually have close air support, guys. Really? So we'll send you over there. Same with you. And then we'll send both you guys up to there. So we'll just do that. And then that should hopefully take care of all the air support I need in the north. Back to our nice lovely infantry menu. So I should be able to easily steamroll in and to have a quick victory there. Alright, so I think we're pretty much set there. There's not much I can do yet until we get to our place that we want to be. A lot of this is going to also focus on um, the world tension and also we're going to be playing the game of trying not to get England to pretty much take their political power and throw it as guarantees against everything. So we're going to be playing a very tight game here. Again, this is going to be a strategy right off the neutral warmongering route that's in the Hearts of Iron 4 wiki. I'm giving it a shot to see how it works out. I know one of them requires us to restart if it turns out a certain way, but we're not really focusing too much on that. If it happens, it happens. No big deal. So let's go ahead and start getting a... well, we need to build them up more. So let's go ahead and start building up an infantry group out here. So let's just train infantry. We'll start with just two. And we'll start them kind of in the center there and we'll figure out where to put them each time. Again, I need more troops down here, but I don't want to add them too, too much down here yet because I don't want to put them in a situation where they're going to begin to uh, create a deficit of troops and start to, what is it called? I can't remember off the top of my head. Oh, I can see the word too, but I can't remember it. Alright, well, the thing where you uh, start losing troops. <laughs> I don't know why I can't think of the word off the top of my head, because it's probably late and I should be getting to bed instead of playing. But you know what? Priorities, priorities, priorities. So, 
Alright, so with that being said, we can cover some of our future plans here while we're sitting here dwindling our time, kind of taking a uh, sweet time letting things happen. So, game plan. We're going to take the main states up here, take all the uh, Baltic states. Oh, I need both. Okay, I need both. Go for it. So we're going to take all three of the Baltic states if we can. Then once we take the Baltic states, and yes, we're going to go with the... Uh, the concentrated because we're going to attempt to be pretty strong about this. So, we want to take the Baltic 3 and Romania as part of our phase 1. That's going to be when we get the uh, war tension high enough when the, I believe it is I believe it's once the Civil War ends or it's either the Civil War ends or Japan starts their war. One of the two, it creates a high enough tension, should be relatively between 10 and 20, in which case it gets me enough that at my uh, revanchism I can actually start declaring my wars. So once that happens, I'm good to go. So we go ahead and we get the revanchism, and then we want to take care of those guys. Um, we'll be fighting off the... where is it here? I'm trying to read from the the page over here. So we're going to be fighting off the guarantees from Britain and eventually France and declaring any wars uh, against these targets will almost certainly force them into the Allies and ruin the game. So we need to be very careful about not going past 25 at the time. It's kind of a trick. And we need to make sure that tension's low when we justify against Lithuania, Latvia and Estonia and Romania. If Romania gets guaranteed, we're kind of screwed if the other ones uh, get guaranteed. Just cancel the justification. Um, on that, once the justification's finished, we wait till everything is done and hit the war button on all the targets at the same time. Got it. And that's when we go. Okay, so we want to basically pause the game. War, 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 hit the uh, attack button, and then go at it so that no one uh, is able to join against them. And then once that's said and done, um, once everything's done, hit go. Uh, yeah, because the tension's gonna skyrocket at the moment. I declare war against everybody, basically, is what they're saying. Ooh, so we can modify our government. So, with our first thing here, what do we want to do? We can't change that, so our economy we're kind of stuck with. So instead, with your political power, we want to hire a division advisor. Okay. So he should be military high command, right? Uh, no. Should be theorist. And yes... Um, he's the doctor. Is he the right guy, though? Division, division, or, uh, economic policy. I can't change my economic policy yet, because I'm not fascist or communist, and the war tension isn't up yet. So instead, division, division, division. No, I think, oh, that's what they mean. Okay, so we want this guy because we're not going to have armor anytime soon and our cavalry is not doing its thing. So this guy's who we want. We want him. Okay, that makes sense now. I got it. Perfect. Good to know. Alright, so there we go. There's that. Alright, so we got that going. Is there any other reason I need to be staying paused and kind of reading here? We don't need to be paused. Alright, we've got that, we've got that, we've got that. Alright, so... Let's battle gets going, only to justify against the other targets, and then Britain will be justifying against those targets. So we'll be baiting and switching so that they burn their political power. So what I'm going to be doing then is justifying against Sweden, Denmark, and um, Switzerland. Really? Sweden, Denmark, and Switzerland? Okay. So they're throwing their political power as guarantees against things that are worthless to us, so that eventually we can then use our power so that we'll actually claim our real targets when they have no power left, which is going to be Hungary, Yugoslavia, and, uh, who else? Hungary, Yugoslavia, and Bulgaria. So we're going to be getting all these three. So we're letting Czech Republic go, or Czechoslovakia go to the German Reich. Okay. I gotcha. That makes sense. And then, uh, yeah. That makes sense. Okay, so we need to cancel them before they complete, obviously. But keep them long enough to bait any other guarantees. Okay, got it. So that's what I want to do, is draw the guarantees over there. Okay, that makes sense to me, then. 
Sounds very good. All right. So, with that said, we have a game plan in mind. Man, I'm getting lit up with alerts. Okay. Okay. Yep. Anyway, that's all stuff about I'm buying a house. So I actually am getting messages in regards to my uh, having to apply for mortgage and stuff. It's kind of exciting. I'm being an adult and stuff, even though I'm 31 and now being, I guess, an adult in terms of getting. Yeah. Anyway, that's a that's another story for another time. Anyway, World War II stuff. So yeah. Poland, making it great. Eventually, what I want to do is swap Poland into fascist, become the new right, uh, the new central powers, and take out the Allies and the Soviets. But that's for Phase Two and Three, which is Hungary, Bulgaria, all this stuff. We deal with this in Phase Two, and then from Phase Three, I think is where we jump into stuff. So we are meh, part of the way through 36. We still got 10 minutes. How are we doing with our research? Ah, speaking of the devil, there's our research. We will actually... Do I want to go ahead and buy this or this? Well, what are our resources? That'll actually help. Let's see what our resources are locally to Poland to see if 10% additional resources are even worth it at the moment. That's resistance. That's not going to help. Resources. All right, so what resources are we getting? We're getting oil and steel. And that is literally all we're getting. So with that said, 10% of 20 is going to be 2, and 4, 10% of 4 is going to be, uh, that's going to be a percentage. So, so I'm going to be getting 2 additional steel, or 4, or yeah, it might round and give me 1 if I'm lucky. So, really not getting much out of there. And seeing as I am, well, that one would help, four would not, the rest of the stuff won't matter. So you know what we could use that spot for instead? Can't use it on that yet, can't use it on that yet. That'll be helpful once we get closer to it. We could do mechanical engineering to bring down our research time. But that is quite a bit of time, which could be spent doing other things. So we have our support weapons going currently. We can't research anything there. None of this is going to be useful to us yet, so we don't need to worry about that. Field hospitals are essential, but we require motorized first. So do we want to do motorized is the next question. Well, is there something here about motorized? I believe there is motorized in the cavalry right there, which knocks down to 75%. So we want to wait to get those until then. So in the meantime, our research still needs to focus around land doctrine, infantry, artillery, and support. So... Well, let's stop messing around then with everything else and go ahead and probably pick up the artillery support because tanks are not going to bother with. Um, it wouldn't be bad to go with that next. We're not going to worry about our navy. It's really not going to be helpful to us anytime soon. Aircraft, I mean, I guess we could switch it up to this one. It is. We have it researched, so I'll check that out momentarily. So yeah, let's go ahead and uh, upgrade the artillery. That's going to be our game plan. Alright, let's go ahead and check out our construction of aircraft. The interwar fighter. Can I flip you to... No, I can't. So what was that I was looking at then? That was... Oh, sorry. Close air support. I'm silly. I didn't even see that. So we would need to go to this guy next. It's not essential yet. That's probably not till later in the war. So we got plenty of time. All right, so we have more that we need to decide to do with. So artillery we're making almost two a month. Let's bump it up slightly, hoping it'll help. How are we looking in terms of our construction? Still not great. We're getting one extra from trade. So now we're at 19. Well, we're slowly building up. Yeah, yeah. I know. It's going to be a very difficult process. It really is. It's going to be walking a very thin line. So we can go ahead and bump this up in speed for the remaining five minutes, six minutes we have left in this episode. There's not really too, too much else to do besides start building up for this war. Um, keep in mind we are at 70% unity. So losing 70% of our points, which is pretty much... How many points do we have? Can we even check how many points we have? Uh, that is 
That's 10. 5 is 15. To the old Polish, which gives us another military factory. So that's 15, and 20 is 25. Or, and one that's not going to matter. And 10. So it's 30 and 15. Wait, what did I say that was? Yeah, so that's 30. 30, 40. No, sorry. 30, 40, 45. 50. Looks like 50. 50 points. So 70 of 50 is roughly roughly 30 something, 40 something, give or take. So need to be careful about how much we lose. So we can we can withstand to lose a lot of stuff, basically, is what I'm saying. So we need to be left with roughly if we get down to 40 or uh, 10 victory points left, yeah, we'll be in trouble. So the Olympic Games just happened. All was good. Germany had the most points, as part of the usual. I didn't even read it, so if something was changed, if that event ever can change, I will be, I'll be somewhat impressed. Wow! So those offset completely. Oh, cool. Well, good for you. What are you up to, Germany? You're making industrial efforts. Cool. Wow, you went just straight down there. And there's the civil war. We we're waiting for that to happen. All right. So what do we do next? Next. I think we do want to do the land doctrine. That that helps a lot. So we'll get the land doctrine started. It'll make a big difference, really, in the grand scheme of things. Every little bit of that is, such, is a it's a passive, so every little bit just adds up so quickly, and it'll just be huge. All right, so Germany, what did, what was it again? I'm sorry, wasn't it? So many things happening all at once. Um, Civil War, that's right. What will happen down here? I honestly hope the Republic win. Well, I don't know. If I become fascist, I'm going to kind of want nationalists to win. I don't know. I don't know. Nationalist Poland, or uh, fascist Poland, will happen eventually. It's not going to be a thing that happens right off the bat. we got to stay neutral Poland for a while. See if we can't get, like... France to back us for a little bit. They're supporting the status quo. Good for you. Hopefully, with that. What? Well, well, please don't do this. Your historical focus. So arguably, it should not do this route, which will really ruin my game if, for some reason, it decides to. They they won't do this route because it's not historical. They'll more than likely go over here, go with Britain. That is. That is almost ideally what they will do. At some point, don't they have... Oh, Polish guarantee all the way down there for Little and Tay. Okay, yeah, that won't happen then. Okay, kind of kind of a good thing, kind of not a good thing. I don't know. I'm pretty confident as Poland that you're the strongest army out there in the field at the moment, or at least damn close to it, and I should be able to become one of the strongest. Game plan is to basically take all of this, all of this, and be ready to take on Germany by the time that they do Danzig or Bust. And if worse comes to worse and they somehow get to it early, well, then I just have to deal with it and figure it out from there. Collect them. Oh, probably good. Where are you? Okay, so you went this way. Okay. Cool. Cool, cool. Alright, what do I want to do more of? Let's do more infantry equipment. Producing two artillery a month. That's, that's awesome. All right, factory. Next up, research slot. Once I get that, we'll be golden. All right, so what do I want to do? Well, can add one more there. Support equipment. We are going to need it. Don't see why not. All right, so once we do, once we take care of the uh, the slot. Okay, then we go for the revanchism. And then we go to By the Seas. Really? What is By the Seas? Do, 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 do. Revanchism. Oh, Between the Seas. Okay. Uh, yeah. Between By the Seas. Nope. This is, this is what it was. They just screwed it up. 
Alright, so I'm not a fascist. Oh, they want me to create my own. I get ya. I get it. I see what you want me to do. But then I'm pulling first. I could do it. And I could just completely skip going down this route, going right, and then youth. I could still become fascist with my own thing. I mean, that's a possibility. Ooh, I got more manpower. World tension's still not high enough. Still not high enough. Alright, so you're... Do you will use your political power to hire division and economic policy. Well, can't do that yet, so we might as well just save it. But I think we're pretty much at the point where we might call it quits. But we'll see. But yeah, so that's... It's kind of where we're at. Um, it's... We're at that point where... Well, I mean, I guess we can do Poland first. I mean, it's not necessarily a bad thing. I mean, the treaty's gonna get bypassed, so we just do Baltic Alliance if they're not a puppet. Okay. Okay. Well, I mean, it's a thing. We're still gonna take them over, so I don't know. Well, it just allows me to create the faction, and then I can start inviting people to my faction later. So that's not a bad thing, per se. It just means I won't be able to... Yeah, because it requires both, doesn't it? Requires it, yeah. So I wouldn't be able to do either liberalism, well, no, I'm not going to draw close to the UK, we've already determined that because we want to beat them up. But it wouldn't allow us to go to the right or anything. Oh man, all this stuff is finishing. Alright, we're going to pause it, select new stuff, and then probably call it for the night. So what else do I want to do besides have all that? Infantry, artillery, and then support. So nothing in... So we gotta keep looking down this way. Nothing good there. Nothing I can do here yet. Skipping artillery. Can't do this until 9. And I think might not be a bad thing. We might need it. We're already working there. Don't need to worry about that, 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 or that. So we come over to here. So this is where I make the decision. I could go mechanical computing, which might not be a bad thing. That might not be a bad one to grab right off the bat to get that rolling soon. Then I can start rolling on that too. So let's go ahead and get those out of the way and then we'll come back for the mechanical computing. And then we should be okay. Alright, so there's that. I think we have everything. Just one last check over here if you guys don't mind me talking through it. Do I want to start my own faction? I think we could definitely skip... We can skip these parts of it. I create my own faction. But I give up on... Potentially going right to become super fascist. In which that would allow me to... Gain authoritarianism? Author... Author... Yeah. Anyway. In which case, I basically... Basically all it does is take away from the democratic support. That's all it does. So it's not a big deal. Paramilitarism just reduces division training time. It's not that big of a deal. And then I have the choice of going left, which adds additional support. Acceptance of fascist democracy or diplomacy, which is not a big deal, because I can do that via um, what do you want to call them? The political points I can buy the guy who forces you to. I can seek accommodations with either one which basically just improves our standing but we're in a historical focus if we were doing a historical yes one of these might not be a bad option and then political commissars yeah whatever division recovery rate better or recruitable population better so I think these this isn't really essential I think this is definitely the way to go I mean it for a historical focus I mean, unless we really want to draw closer to Britain, which is what I don't want to do. Because we want to do revanchism. I'm thinking that this is probably not a bad idea. And then we could just ignore these and then start focusing, I don't know, probably down this way. That might be our way to go. I think we have our path laid out. And we can, of course, do this as well. 
to try and get our stuff going and my work. Alright, so that's going to wrap it up for me. Thank you everybody for coming out to this episode of my Let's Play of... Ooh. So they sent five volunteers, which caused it to jump up to two and a half, plus the Germans sending two and the Italians sending three. So they kind of offset each other, and the Civil War only bumped it up by a little. So that's why we're at 4%, which roughly it's, it's really 4% is the question. I don't know. We'll see. But justify wargle time is nice too. Alright, so it looks like National Spain, they're kinda they're kinda at a standstill. If they get pocketed here, they're in trouble. That's something that the AI really doesn't compensate for very well. If they get pocketed and eliminate this, there's like probably probably a quarter of their troops. But anyway, so that's gonna wrap it up. Thanks for coming out to this episode of our Let's Play of Hearts of Iron 4 as a uh, super aggressive warmongering Poland. I don't know what we're gonna call this yet. I really don't. Call it either Super Poland or well, anyone who hasn't played EU4 wouldn't get the Commonwealth idea. They'll just think it's my other one, which is the Commonwealth. Yeah, we'll come up with a name and I gotta create a, uh, a thumbnail for it and everything. This episode might not even have a thumbnail because I might not have created it in time. Anyway, thanks for coming out and I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Later, guys.